three of the high school football playoffs, which means it's week three of the Friday Football Blitz Playoff Edition. I did math. I have an MBA. Did you know that? I have an MBA, so I can do math. We can really, count really in good. twos, threes, and sevens, Rucka. That's all we need. That's all we need. While some teams will see their dreams of the state championship come to an end, others will keep those hopes alive. we got a lot of great games coming your way tonight. Keep hope alive. We'll start oh, yeah. with the biggest schools and then work our way down because that's the way it was so much easier to do like that. So it's kind of why I get paid the big bucks. Wait, I get paid? Hey, and for the love of the game as well, Andrew Lee, we start first in Division I, Verona on the road at Sussex-Hamilton. Not an easy task. Hamilton in the red zone. First and 10 for Verona at the 11. Rowan Bonifus makes the tackle on Justice Castillo for no gain. Next play, Jacob Findle stopping any hope for Sussex-Hamilton, but on fourth down and goal, Hatcher gets the TD from a few yards out. Verona's season comes to an end. Unfortunately, Hamilton wins it 26-16. to over in Wanakee, the Warriors taking on the new Richmond Tigers. Start of the second half, Tigers down 35-7. to Looking for some offense, but this pass goes right into the hands of Brady Cizek. He takes it to the end zone for the kick six. A few possessions later, Warriors back on offense. A handoff to Benjamin Lindley, and he powers through a couple defenders, as he seems to do all season. Keeping yep. that thing moving, Wanakee past midfield. Now near the goal line. Backup quarterback Gunnar McFadden into the game and finishes this drive off with a walk-in touchdown. Warriors win 28-13 and they'll play Kaquana in the next round. Usually it's Vance Johnson doing his thing, but this time the backup quarterback. Bank of Sun Prairie Stadium, the Cardinals of Sun Prairie East host the Owls of Slinger. Ooh. No, that's not an owl. That's who. Drew Cavanaugh, that's who. That's who. <laughs> Cooper White opens the scoring seven other cards. Later in the first, quarterback Drew likes it. This time he likes his chair. Connor Stuff, amazing. I've never seen Connor Stuff catch a touchdown. 14-0. Second quarter, Drew all over, all over the sharing now. He finds Stuff again, and the cards lead 21-0. The cards go on to win by a final score of 35-6. They'll play undefeated Badger, who beat Kettle Marine tonight, 28-7. Barneville taking on Green Bay Notre Dame in one of the best games of the night. The Tritons getting on the board first. Carson Golosny rolls the right and finds Charlie Horneck. And Charlie finds the end zone and Notre Dame leads this one 7-0. Back come the Vikings. Trent Owens taking the handoff and goes straight up the gut and straight into the end zone. Vikings feeling good. A lot of hugs to celebrate, of course. Back come the Tritons, though. They are feeling 22, of course. It's Christian Collins down the left sideline. He goes. Adios. Running all over that place. He yep. goes back and forth. But it's Green Bay Notre Dame that wins this one 26 to 21. Whew. Already a great start. Already a great start. Some teams of, of our area are winning, some are losing. That's the bad part of this part of the season. But they're winning. putting up like decent numbers. It's not like our teams are only putting up like, I am a already goal. for level four, aren't you? Oh, yeah. But first, we got through the first three divisions, yeah. so we got to get through some more. That's fine. Here I was in Monroe tonight. We go to the land of the free home of the cheese as Monroe Jeez. Stoughton tonight. First quarter, Monroe quarterback Bryce Roelli hands off to Kane Cooster awesome for the name. four yard touchdown. Some nothing Monroe, but the senior ring back wants more. Cooster takes the end around and scampers 30 yards and hits the pylon. It looks like cheese. Sort of. Maybe wrap. He gets in for the score. Cooster would be hurt on the play and have his arm to swing the rest of the game. Stoughton tries to climb back with fourth down conversion. Drew Viney to Sawyer Shipper. But Moreau Stiffens gets the ball back and gets his 29 field goal. Get this, though. They were leading 16 to nothing. Monroe was at halftime. And Stoughton comes back to win by a final score of 23 to 16. They'll play Grafton next week. Lakeside Lutheran on the road at the Capitol Memorial. The Warriors acting like the Warriors all night long. Ben Kralak gets with the keeper. Look at him go. Finding the gap and in for the score. Nothing stopped him. But that's the only score the Warriors would get. They would fall to the Crusaders with the final score of 22-7. In Lodi, the undefeated Blue Devils welcome Xavier. Lodi's offense looks to set the table right away. Mason Lane, of course, takes a shot down field and finds Aiden Groskopf. Wide open, Blue Devils strike first. Hawks look to answer on third and 12. Reed Hypnus 
Throws one down to Evan McCormick. Bobbles it for a second to hold on for the first down. Xavier now right on the doorstep and high pits. Drives it in for himself. That's the first touchdown Lodi has given up this postseason. But it doesn't matter. The Blue Devils go on to win it by a final score of 28 to 13. They will play Baldwin Woodville in level four. See Darlington hosting Lancaster. Both teams rocking a 10 and 1 record. I love that girl. And the rocking good hands. Final moments of the first quarter. Darlington up 8 to 6. A botched punt here for the Redbirds. Chaos near the end zone. But in the end, Lancaster's Simonj Benzin recovers it in the end zone for the touchdown, 14 to 8 after the two-point conversion. And shout out to the coach in the cowboy hat. Let's keep yeah, things western awesome. here, folks. Yeah. Darlington with some angry running here. Reagan Jackson <laughs> finds a huge hole, flattens the guy with a stiff arm, and rumbles in for a touchdown. 14 all after the failed two-point conversion. More on the ground from the Redbirds. Ty Christ right, uh, right on the line and right in for the touchdown. Darlington up 21-14, and they win this one 28 to 22. They'll play 20 next Friday to go to state. We got some good games tonight. That oh, was yeah, awesome. It, it was good. We are on level four now of the playoffs. Well, don't forget, we're not on level four officially yet because we have our after show wherever you stream. A lot of people go on Facebook and hang out with us and comment on it. So Andy will be there. I'll be there about five minutes after this newscast ends. Don't forget to ask your questions, comments. We'll talk about cheeses as well. And that's it. All right, Andy, we'll see you in a little bit. Sports is next. Stick around.